the Afghan National Security Forces in order to secure the Afghan people and deny the provinces of Eastern Afghanistan as a division. Task Force White Eagle from the Republic of Poland, as well as other U.S. and coalition elements. Did their spring offensive preparations and set the conditions for the general runoff elections and the summer season. They regularly supported joint operations between the partner corps first and second special option. Among all the security pillars, be the National Intelligence the ANA Standard Bearers, and Intel Driven Operations. RCE supported the security of two presidential elections to enable the first peaceful democratic transition of power in the history of this great country. The Commander, International Security Assistance Forces, and U.S. Forces Afghanistan directs inadequate inactivation of Regional Command East and Combined Joint Task Force 10, effective 4 November 2014. The Secretary of Defense directs redeployment of Headquarters 10th Mountain Division Light Infantry from Afghanistan to Fort Drum, New York, effective 4 November 2014. This truly has been a historic time for ISAF and our ENSF partners and the people of Afghanistan. I'd like to extend a special thanks to Generals Dunford, Campbell, and Anderson for their leadership that has guided RCs this year. Thanks to my fellow RC commanders, Coalition and SOFT partners, PACs Southeast and Northeast, great brigades, battalions, and staff that have served in RC East over this year. This mission has been a team effort. And most importantly, Tasha Kaur, to my Afghan brothers in arms. The real success belongs to you. You've heard the history of RC East. Many great divisions have led the coalition effort here. But it was our own 10th Mountain Division here in the beginning, and it is fitting that it's the 10th Mountain Division here at the 
end of the Enduring Freedom and ISAF mission. Our division has fought five times in Afghanistan, four of those here in the East. I'm proud of our soldiers and our division's role in this country. But this year has not been without loss. Over 1,000 of our NSF brothers were martyred this year in our seas. And another 2,000 were wounded. In our seas, 19 coalition soldiers also laid down their lives for the future of this country. Together, we've made a difference. We have made a matter. Our seas deactivates today. The 10th Mountain Division is heading back to New York. But I have a lot of hope for the future of Afghanistan. Coalition forces are postured to remain and support the ANSF into the future through the new NATO mission resolute support. Finally, we will leave here without saying goodbye because we look forward to our paths across the Indian. I'm free, I'm glory. As Mountaineers, we do not ask for light loads, nor the path of least resistance. Bless the United States of America, the country we serve and love. We can always serve as providers of peace and protection for others. Lord, grant us courage during